Mm. Why dost thou hate me, voice? <laughs> Why dost thou hate me? Welcome back to Cat and Raven Designs again. I am Raven, and this is Cat, who I'm trying to spare her voice here. Because she is <laughs> still sick. Hopefully this will be our last sick intro. But uh, we're about to hop into Humboldt County. Yeah. Which <laughs> I think is, is rather personal for each of us in our own way. I just love that it smells like pot. <laughs> you would, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about Humboldt County and where that comes from in, uh, in the video itself. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and we'll see you at the end. Welcome. Tonight we are working on Humboldt County. So this is one I've been really excited about for a while now because uh, Humboldt County was my home for four years while I was uh, going to college. So I graduated from Humboldt State University, HSU. It was a big deal for me for a long time. So this, this particular batch is gonna be a little different than how we normally do things. So as you might be able to tell, this is real green already. No micas or colorants yet, very green. So the reason why is that normally our recipe that we use has almond oil, coconut oil, palm oil, which is sustainably harvested. Uh, and then also castor oil, that's it, and olive oil. So normally it's got all those. So today we actually took out the almond oil and replaced it with hemp oil, which we have never worked with before, so very exciting. So we're gonna start off today, I'm gonna give the oils a blend before I put the lye water in because again, we haven't worked with this oil before and I, it's real dark, I can't tell. If it's blended, so I'm gonna blend it up real quick. All right, I feel better now about my choices in life. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our lye water solution. So this is lye and distilled water. And because a lot of people ask and freak out in my real life, yes, sodium hydroxide is lye. Yes, you do need it to make soap. Uh, bar soaps, any kind of hard soaps, all use sodium hydroxide. You can check your ingredient labels. The liquid soaps use potassium hydroxide. So if it doesn't have that in it, it's probably something like a lotion bar, and it is not soap. It has to have the chemical reaction between the lye and the oils, which is saponification, that turns it into soap and makes it so the lye is no longer dangerous. So let's give this a blend. Wow. <laughs> you can tell this is definitely not our normal recipe. It's so green. It's so pretty. It is pretty. Wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it split off here. We're going to be doing two colors today. We're going to be doing green and yellow, which are the colors of my old school. So I went to, uh, to college there. I graduated with a degree in studio art and a minor in English literature. I was about two classes away from double majoring, but I didn't want to lose my mind, so I didn't finish both degrees. Uh, so let's go ahead and pour off our yellow. So sorry if Cat may not talk a whole lot right now. Cat's trying not to die. Yeah, Cat's still recovering, so this is mostly going to be me tonight. Okay, so let's start with our yellows, I think. So I'm going to do, first off, is yellow vibrance. And then just to make sure it is good and bright, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of yellow neon, also from Nurture Soap. And then for our green, I'm just going crazy with the colors today. So green neon. Almost all of our micas are from Nurture Soap, honestly. I'm gonna do some green vibrance. And lastly, a little bit of jade green. All right, let's give that a blend. Apparently, cat's too short to check it. Oh, short of short. That's looking mighty green. I was gonna say, I mean, it, it's not like it wasn't pretty green before. <laughs> all right, let's mix up our yellow. Get the titanium mixed up. Just a touch. Let's add a little bit of there. Just a little bit. There we go. Now, I feel like as soon as we break out the fragrance oil, that's when this is going to be interesting trying to talk. 
I feel like I have to defer to you on some of these things. Why? Because you're not the stoner. Because <laughs> I've never done it. <laughs> so, our fragrance oil today is cannabis flower from Nature's Garden. I, despite the fact that I lived in Humboldt County for four years, never smoked it. I just never really had an opportunity where I felt like I was safe and with people that I trusted. I mean, the people that I trusted didn't really smoke. So I was open to trying it. It just, just never really presented itself as an option. If you were to describe the scent, Miss Cat, would you say that it is accurate, as I believe, to a fresh cannabis plant. Oh yeah, it's a fresh cannabis plant. Not not dried and ready to smoke, yeah, but definitely. fresh. We're gonna put about half in here. I think it smells nice. It smells great, I love it. I mean, I'm honestly not generally a huge fan of the scent of marijuana, so I'm kinda glad it doesn't smell like weed. At least this doesn't smell like cheap weed. So my experience with weed as, as a user is limited. That's because I worked for my school's residence halls when I was in, in college. And uh, despite the fact that, you know, we were smack dab in Arcata in the middle of Humboldt County, the residence halls had rules against smoking pot. I was working not, not as an RA, but something kind of similar. And we worked really closely with the police department in the area. You know, I had a lot of run-ins with the, uh, with weed and with the uh, pot users and I mean generally I don't have a problem with it you know not not any more than I have a problem with people using anything else you know what's your your opinion on this controversial subject oh marijuana like I'm all for it oh gosh you sound so sick yes <laughs> I know <laughs> so <I'm, coughs> we're keeping you over there yes yes poor cat I'll smoke it on the weekends, <laughs> when I don't have you be at work. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because you're responsible? Yes, because I am responsible. See, I almost never have no kids around. And I know lots of people, you know, get high when they've got their kids around. But that's just not for me. I mean, no judgments, obviously, but just not really my style. Yeah, I, I, I've got that perk of the kid goes to his dad's every other week. It's true. Alright, so I'm thinking today what we're going to do is we're going to do a drop swirl. I appreciate you, Nature's Garden Cannabis Flower Fragrance Oil, for not accelerating my soaps. So let's get to pouring. Do our first round. Boy, this is going to be a very liquidy swirl. Yeah. One of the things that is a big memory for me of being up in Humboldt is the woods. You know, there's a lot of redwoods up there. It's really beautiful. I, I, I miss some of the, the atmosphere of being up there. The air is so clean and there's all these trees and nature and it's really pretty all the time. I mean, even when it's raining, it's I, I enjoyed it. But then I like the rain. But... Whenever you go hiking up in the forest, you know, a real common thing that you come across is banana slugs. And they're not simply native to Northern California, and they're, they're in SoCal too. Like, one of the things, <laughs> my first real experience with banana slugs was uh, science camp. Which, did, did they do science camp in Utah? I'm sure they did, I never went. Oh, okay. Science camp, I was lucky enough to get to go. I don't know if, if any other, if that's just a SoCal thing. I mean, I, I grew up all over California. So science camp was in, I think, Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz area. And it was so much fun. And one of the things that they did, and I, I feel like anybody who went to that particular science camp at least will know this, was that there was a song that they did about banana slugs. And it was to the tune of... Uh, twist and shout and it was pretty dorky <laughs> but it was really fun so, but it's it's a song about 
banana celery, not going to be able to see very well for just a second while I ladle this in real quick. It's a really funny song, and I'm sure if you wanted to hear it, you can, I know it's on YouTube, that you can look it up. Just look up uh, Science Camp Banana Slug Song, or just Banana Slug Song, you'll find it. And I remember all the kids just being super into it, which is saying something. You know, a bunch of middle schoolers being super into something, that's when they start to get sour and not want to do things. They're starting to become teenagers. It's not a phase, Mom. Ah, banana slug. Uh, if we're going middle school, then it would have been Washington for me. Oh. Yeah, you and I were in Washington at different times. Yeah. In different parts. Yeah. I mean, I was in the Stellicum DuPont area. I was stuck in flipping Aberdeen. In case anybody is wondering, no. I did not live anywhere near where Twilight was filmed or set in. And I came back and people were like, oh, where did you live previously? And I'm like, oh, well, mostly California, but I did live in Washington for two years. Um, once Twilight came out, everybody asked, like, oh, did you live... Where's Twilight set? Forks? Yeah. Why am I scraping so poorly tonight? Come on, Sarah, get on the scrape game. I'd like to go back to Humboldt at some point. I mean, it's a long drive from here. Six, six and a half hours. All right, so we're going to do something we haven't done before, which is I saw, I want to say it was Arian from um, La Fille de la Mer that was doing this. I'd, I'd have to look, but what she did is she did the drop swirl and then put the chopstick in and swirled it like that, which will require that I tap this down again, obviously. But it was really pretty when she did it like to try it there we go. making a mess of everything we might let this sit for a minute because we do have some embeds to put on top so one of the embeds we have today are these little hand piped banana slugs and i'll throw up a picture on uh, of a real banana slug so you can kind of see they're a little difficult to capture <laughs> in soap piping i did actually try to record working on these uh -huh. um, making these little guys and I, I I thought it was working but apparently it uh, wasn't there was an entire recording of me making these little well there was supposed to be an entire recording of me making these little banana slugs but it didn't uh, record apparently <laughs> so I was sitting there talking to myself and not realizing that it wasn't recording and went to go check the footage and was like, well, there's no footage. <laughs> cool. But uh, the little banana slugs, and then we've also got some little leaves that are also hand piped. My mom always used to ask me because my mom thought the banana slugs were really cute. She always wanted to know whether or not I, I did actually find them, and they're really common. You could find them really easy. Just go take a hike and there they are. I'm going to get all my little slugs on first, and then I'll start adding the leaves. But some of these uh, came out better than others. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Two people with anxiety trying to convince each other if it's going to be okay. <laughs> Got two sizes of leaves. Little ones. You know, I, I went to college thinking, oh, I'm going to get my degree. I'm going to get into graphic design. and. You know, I'm going to be a comic book artist, and I thought for sure, like, things were going to be a certain way, and, like, they really weren't. I mean, it doesn't help that I graduated in 2009, which was, like, the worst time to be coming out of college. You know, the market had just took a giant tank, and things were not <laughs> looking so hot. Very depressing graduation, to say the least. I mean, there is a reason why I, you know, enlisted straight out of high school. I did graduate in 2008. All right, so here's the close-up on Humboldt County with all the little banana slugs, our little foliage. So we'll give this 18 to 24 hours and see how it looks. We'll go ahead and let this set for now. Alrighty, welcome back. We are all set and ready to cut Humboldt County. So here's what the side looks like. 
kind of interesting that it's got these little spots going, so we'll see what the inside looks like. There's our top with our little slugs. So let's go ahead and get started and give this a cut. <laughs> oh, it smells like pot. Yes, yeah, it smells like pot. <laughs> oh, it straight up smells yeah, like it's, pot now. It absolutely smells like pot now. <laughs> Alrighty, so here are all the bars. These almost look like goofy smiley faces. Alrighty, so that was the making and cutting of Humboldt County, which <laughs> early on we did talk about how it smells like a fresh cannabis plant, a fresh marijuana plant, which now that it has saponified it definitely smells like weed now. <laughs> so it uh, it came out. I'm I'm rather pleased with how it came out. So we've got our little banana slugs on the top, our little piped leaves, our lovely yellow and green swirl on the inside, and it it smells like hemp and marijuana. So <laughs> mission accomplished, I suppose. But uh, this one will be part of our June release, June 2019. I'm going to go ahead and put the date down below. Uh, you'll be able to pick it up at catandravendesigns.com, which links currently to our Etsy store, where you can go ahead and pick it up. And you can also catch us on Instagram and Facebook for Cat and Raven Designs. Usually it's myself on Instagram. Typically it's Cat on Facebook handling that. Uh, but go ahead and give us a check out, and we'd really appreciate, like, comment and subscribe. I know you hear it all the time from all the YouTube channels, but it really does help, uh, especially if you can share your videos. If you like soap making, definitely give us a loop around the people you know. So we will uh, definitely catch you at another time, and I hope you have a good day. Yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs>